So what I'm doing now is we just marked our arrow on a bare shaft and I'm gonna see which way it turns and then that'll tell me the direction of the fletching that we're going to run. So we're gonna go right or left helical. I am gonna run a pretty extreme helical on it. So just whichever way this turns and we'll walk down there when we're done and check it out. This is going straight up in the bow. So I'll know if it's left or right when I get down there. So if you'll look, my arrow actually turned to the right. So we're gonna go with a right helical out of it. So what I'm doing is I'm running this AAE on this arrow for the AUDAT. I'm running a smaller vein and I'm running a crazy, the actual true helical, which is hard to get without these. You can do it with the bits and I love the bits for some accuracy. But a part of that, I really like to run these um, Arizona Easy Fletches to put a strong helical on them. And what that strong helical does is gonna help the broadhead steer just a little bit better. It's gonna cause a little bit more drag, but I'm going with a lower profile vein, which is gonna allow us to have less wind drag as we're going off after these Audad. So the next part, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at 10 yards and bear shaft tune in, and then we're gonna slowly walk it back five yards. Watch my shot on my thumb release. I'm not hitting my thumb. Did you hit on that one? Yeah, you're, I can hear you hitting it. Now look too, you're healing like this, that's a big torque issue. Your hand should be coming backwards on that break. So at 10, our bear shaft is dead on, the arrows are stacked. So now we're bear shaft tuning at 15 yards. This next shot's 15, then obviously go to 20. Punch my trigger there. So now you can see where I punched the trigger on this one. It's really, really obvious what I did, but there's your bear shaft tune there. They hit together at 15. So now we're going to go to 20. So that's a bear shaft, veined arrow at 10 and 15 yards. Now we're going to go to 20. And if I don't screw up my shot too much, see if we can't hit it at 20 and get that, that tune in. Let's go for it. Bear shaft first. I'm gonna fire one more in there. Probably gonna redo that bear shaft. I know that I punched the trigger on it, but I'm gonna fire one more in there just to kind of see the grouping. And one thing you need to do when you're bear shaft tuning is also, if your groups are kind of big with vein arrows at 20 yards, then the bear shaft should just be similar to what that is. Don't expect a tenth of an inch group if you're not shooting that with veins. Let's 
Let's go check it out. So we're a little bit tell low, but you can tell our group is doing really, really good there. I'm gonna run one more group through it just to check it and go from there. That's a 20 yard group and within a finger, that's just me moving a little bit on there and then bear shaft vein arrow group.